Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Mm. What? What's that? <laughs> what? Samantha. What, are you angry already? Like, How? is it because... Of- is it because of the weather? It's 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 you. What? It's you. I'm mad I at you. I don't see you. How can you be mad at I me? I can still be mad at you. Things still no, you happen can't. in my life that involve you that make me mad, like my toenails. Well, that's your own fault. Anyways, Samantha. We've already discussed that, Lisa. I know that. We don't need to discuss it again, do we? <laughs> no, but it's you just keep... Banging that drum. Just keep uh, going. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh Samantha, how's your week been? It's been good. Good. I I was outside in the hot weather. Good. What were you you working on your suntan? I was was working on just getting some vitamin D, Lisa. Good. Did it make you feel better? It did. Thank God my parents have air conditioning. Yeah, it's hot. Hey, it was hot. It's it's a hot. Super hot. Super hot. It's hot child in the city. Hot, looking wild and feeling dirty. Mm, it's not. You know what it is? It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am in so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off a little bit, a little bit like that. That's what it was. No, no? you it should wasn't. never sing that song. That's really bad. Why? What's so bad about it? It's <laughs> really bad. But it's why? Why? And you wonder why I'm mad at you. And guess what? what? I just, I just got re mad. I let you sing your Blondie song or Nick Wilder, and it that's sounds horrible, and I don't comment. Re- oh, that's nice, eh? Right? Nice. Okay, okay, sing it again. Hot child in the city. It's not good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, that's Looking good. Looking all mm. and feeling pretty. Dun, 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 dun. But I can't do a little bit. <laughs> 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 Why can't like I do the that? Bath- sounds yeah, like no, you're going to the bathroom and having to push. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm choking to death. <laughs> but seriously, it was so hot for like forever, and now we potentially may be getting snow. Northern Saskatchewan got a big snowfall. I don't even understand that. We apparently on Friday are expected to get a little bit of snow. Oh my God! Seriously? Yes, I'm not even kidding. Isn't that well, the craziest thing? And friends of the podcast, of... when we say hot, we mean like like three degrees away from hell. Like it was 32 degrees. It was 32. Degrees. I don't know what that is in American degrees, but it's an awful it's like, lot. It's like nine up in the 90 degree. Yeah, like almost 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah, and that's area. a lot for like. And here's your first day of summer, lady from work. She said today on our conference call, she's like, God, I hope I didn't miss it. No, God. I'm like, oh, right, <laughs> right. Because that's what everybody's saying. I know, right? Because now it's cold. Yes, yes, but we need the precipitation. We do, we do, we do. There's massive wildfires happening here. I know, out in the Prince Albert and yeah, Nipawin area. It's no, good. it's not pretty Our at all. The province is burning down, friends of the podcast. Yeah. So all, a lot of positive thoughts to uh, all the people we, affected by that. Snow would help. Snow, anything would help, right? Snow would help. I would, would help. prefer. I can handle rain. Snow, I feel like it, I'll have a little. I have a little small meltdown. I think. I think a lot of people have a little small meltdown, right? <laughs> I don't think you're on your own there. Okay, but listen to this. I got. Oh my god! I have breaking news. I have breaking friggin' news. Uh, how, really? Yeah. So, so today at work, we were celebrating somebody's birthday, and one of the ladies that I work with, she brought popcorn and Uh you know how like popcorn's not my thing right that's your thing yes but she brought it everybody had their own little individual bag of popcorn and 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 i tried it right because i you know i need a little snack all right you know you know me got like a snack tried it i'm like oh my god is this ever good so then i went to her office and i said to her like hey what's with the popcorn it was like the it was so good it was the best popcorn i've ever had and i'm not even joking and this you know she said she made it with vegan oil. What's vegan oil? It's like a special oil that the vegans use. Samantha, really? I think I'm. I think I'm a vegan. No, you're. Not. I think I am. <laughs> I reacted so positively to vegan stuff uh, that I think I'm vegan. Okay, so if you're a vegan, I'm just new at this. 
So Guess don't get all thinking. don't get Guess all quizzy on me. I just knew it. This don't start getting all quizzy. I just knew. I don't need schooly. I don't need quizzy, and I don't need bully. I just knew. I, I would never I, bully you about being a vegan. I have just. Low, I have enough uh, information to listen, know that to I, be a vegan, Lisa, means you don't eat Samantha, meat. Samantha, I have just <laughs> revealed my first step towards <laughs> veganism. <laughs> Vegan oil popcorn. popcorn. It was so good. That's that's your one step closer to being a vegan. One step closer to being a vegan. And all we've right. already said that, you know, we've said in previous podcasts that we think that those vegans are like better people than us. They probably are. Right? So, huh? But, look at me. Hey, but, okay. Then Moving don't ever up. have another. You can't eat salmon. You can't eat steak. There's no more pork sliders for you. There's oh. not a hamburger well, okay. or a hot dog in your future. <laughs> Listen, and there ain't no more I... eggs. So your diet officially has gone to hell. Samantha, <laughs> right? We don't need to be all crazy. I said I'm just starting. <laughs> Right? I'm just picking I'm having in... way too much fun with it. <laughs> okay, Lisa, let's give it a shot, shall we? Hey, I think I might be <laughs> I think I'm gonna try like 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 a vegan yogurt. <laughs> what? I don't know. Can't I just okay. do like a vegan egg? <laughs> if I can do a vegan, a vegan popcorn egg. There's no vegan eggs. <laughs> can I Are do you like insane? a can I do a vegan pork slider? No! Because <laughs> then it's like it, then it's like tofu. But how come I can do vegan popcorn, but I can't do vegan other stuff? But because popcorn is technically corn, so it's a vegetable. So, of course, it's vegan. And she used vegan oil, which means that it's probably like plant-based or maybe nut-based. I'm like six degrees can... from veganism. <laughs> no! You're, yes! You're like... 600 degrees away from veganism. No, and I think the chicken I had for supper was vegan. No, it's not. Because <laughs> get... chicken is not vegan. It tasted different. It tasted it's better than normal. It's not vegan unless, okay, was it, was it, was it soy? Was it tofu? Because if you ate tofu chicken, then yeah, it was vegan. No, it didn't say to, tofu. It just said chicken. Yeah, because it's chicken. Right? It just said chicken. <laughs> You're really letting down Jan Arden right now. But so maybe, not really, because I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to become a vegan. No, you're not. And if you, the popcorn you is... Just, you just eat chicken for supper. I know, but I had popcorn for snack. <laughs> vegan Congratulations, popcorn. You, had a vegan, you had a vegan snack. Am I a part-time vegan? <laughs> you're not even part-time. You're I, like... An occasional habit of time. veganism. You're not even. Th- you're like a smidge. You're am like I, mm, a am gnat. I more, you're am like I, a gnat. Listen, you're a bug. Am I? Am I more you're vegan a bug than you? Sitting on a vegetable. Am I more vegan than you? Probably because yep. I don't. Yes, I'm not trying to be a much. vegan. Thank you very I'm much. not trying to be vegan. I didn't think I was either till I ate the popcorn. Oh my god, you're so weird. And then I'm like, oh my god, this is so good. I think I'm vegan. <laughs> no, you're not. I think that's my calling in life to be part to be kind of vegan. Okay, off you go. I right? hope you like mushrooms as burgers or steaks. No, I remember I'm allergic to mushrooms. Well, mushrooms are a very large part of veganism. I know that, but I'm just saying Along right? we're with gonna have to make broccoli, some substitutions. Cauliflower. We're gonna lettuce, have to all work legumes. together here, Samantha. <laughs> Right? I like lettuce. I like lettuce. You'll love beans. They'll make you toot. <laughs> I don't need to toot. I don't need to toot. I'm just saying, right? You don't need to make fun of me. Uh, I'm not. Mm, seems like a little bit. I've, I feel like you're doing this all on your own. I don't think so. I was just excited about it, Samantha. You know what I'm not okay. excited well, about? Well, I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited for you. Okay. So when we go up to the cabin, we'll have vegan vegan meals. No. For you. For, I think you'd like the popcorn. I'll eat the popcorn. I'll get the recipe. Okay. I'll get the recipe. Okay. I got that covered. But you know what I'm not happy about? What, Do you remember Lisa? last year I started walking my two kilometer walk to Vern's, the convenience store? Yes. Yes. Right? Remember? And I didn't cross I still the road. Can't believe that's t- I still can't believe that's two kilometers. It's two kilometers there and back, right? And I, and I didn't cross the road because I was trying to be good. 
and not get a chocolate bar. Sometimes I would cross the road and get a chocolate bar, but so, but most days I didn't, right? Most days I was just good. And I'd turn around and come right back and then there'd be my uh-huh. two kilometers, right? And then I'd feel like I was fit, like all the cool kids. Okay. But, and, and, and I felt good about it, but this year, oh, not so much. Excellent. Have you walked the two kilometers to Yeah, I have. I've done it a couple times. And then you know what I just think? I think I'm over walking. I think I'm done with walking. <laughs> I think I'm, I think that's so last year walking. It's, it's so last year. Yeah. Right. I think, I think, I think every year further away from my heart attack, I'm like past it. Okay. I'm like, you don't oh, want to do it. Right? I'm yeah. Done. You don't, you're done. Yeah. Right. Like I don't mind walking at work because I need to walk. Right. I got to go to my stock room. I got to go here. I got to go there. But forced walking like but like like unforced walking. I don't think that's my cup of tea. Right? I'm sorry. Did you just say forced? Forced yeah, walking? Like, like, Is so that what at you work, said? like at work, it's forced walking. Right. Because I have to go places. That's forced walking. You have no, right? you have no choice. You're yes. being forced. It's terms and conditions of my job. Right. <laughs> Right. Nobody explained it, but it is. And I accept yes. it. Right. Yeah. I accept okay. that. Right. So that's yes. forced walking. Just going to Vern's to get two kilometers of exercise. That's unforced. And I think I'm over unforced walking. So now officially you're done. Walking. Just randomly. Just, wa- just walking on my own. Randomly walking. Yeah. Like if I got a, I'm not putting no sneakers on. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I think I'm, think I'm not, I think I'm over my sneakers and I'm not putting them on. <laughs> Right? Okay. I'm just saying that's that's is that weird? <laughs> You're just gonna stick with forced walking. Forced walking. Yeah. Forced walking. Right? Because somebody said because because not that somebody says you have to do it, but you know you do have to do it, right? Like forced so walking. So it's forced. Yeah, right? Like like at the grocery store, right? You're forced to walk because you're there. Okay. So okay, question then, since okay. we're talking about forced walking choosing to walk. Yes. So is going to the bathroom a form of forced walking or is it necessary walking? No, it's forced. It's forced. Yeah. You don't think it's necessary walking? No. To a destination? Nope. I think it's forced. (laughs) Okay. I think it's forced. So anytime (laughs) you don't have a choice. Yeah. Like like the phrase to get from point A to point B. Forced. 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 Definitely forced. So you're never going to just randomly walk anymore. Everything will be forced walking. Yeah. If, 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 (laughs) if it's, yeah, right. If it's unforced walking, it will be, it will somehow have to, it will cross over into forced, I feel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, just trying to get it straight in my head, Lisa. But do you get it? Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, no, no. But that's okay. <laughs> it's not necessary for me to understand. <laughs> as long as I understand it. As long as whatever's rolling through your brain, you get, we're yes, good. Yes, right? Exactly. So uh, it's not that I, so, so when I put my watch on, I'm not wearing my Fitbit. I'm wearing my forced bit. Because it oh. tells me how much forced steps I had today. Okay. And does it force you to get up and walk? Like, does it ever tell you, hey, get up and walk? No, not you've this been one. sitting no. for too long? No, because this one is like, I think it knows that I've been forced to walk a lot already. Okay. I think, I think, I think it gets me that way. Got it. Yeah. Got it? <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. And just think, Samantha, in like six weeks, we're going to go to the lake. We're going to go on a vacation again together. Uh huh. You think you're going to be I able to handle wait. all this, right? You are no, out of practice. I, I, I can't wait until you force walk. That'll be fun. I'll be force walking. You're going to force walk to the beach? Yeah. To the lake? Yeah. To the shower? Yeah. Fun it's times. All forced. That's all forced. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. That's all forced. But you know what else, though, is going to be fun about going away for the sub, for, for a little bit of time is... Oh, oh, and this completely, I know what you're going to say. It's going to go completely against my vegan thing. But again, just remember, I'm just ter- starting to be a vegan. So I haven't thrown it. I haven't thrown the gauntlet down. Um, it might, I may be an exempt vegan on some things. And uh, No, bacon. you can't, but sure. Yeah, and bacon, <laughs> right? 
bacon because, you know, I like to have bacon every day at the lake. Ugh. So I've been starting to think a lot about bacon. You've been starting to think a lot about bacon. A lot about bacon. Yeah. That is unfortunate for you. No, unfortunate for you because you get mad at bacon. I don't love bacon as much as you. And, uh, it's not an everyday occurrence for me. Uh, oh, yeah. It should be. It, it should, should not be. be. It should be up there. When not you're on really, holidays, no. yeah, absolutely. A good breakfast. Get your day going. <laughs> right? Get your day going. Get your day going, right? You're ready for the day. All right, Lisa. I'm just right. saying, Samantha. All right. Okay. All right. That's all. That's all. That's You just wanted to mention, you know, Lisa. Samantha. We can find you. Vegan bacon. I don't want the turkey bacon because I didn't like no, it. No, no, it's even better than that. It's like strictly plant based bacon. No, when you I say th- better than that, do you mean better but worse? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Is that better uh, no, but worse? No, I, th- I think it'll be lovely. Hmm. I could even get you a bacon crumble. Maybe there's some like some crumbly beef stuff we can find for you. This should be really fun. I didn't, that's, I that's said t- I'm just new to it all, <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> Oh, let's hear you backpedal right. on that. <laughs> right? I'm just new to it. I'm just exploring it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Z. Right? Thanks. Don't take yeah, my enthusiasm okay. and burst it. I'm not. And mm. uh, let's take that that interesting conversation of backpedaling. Someone who didn't backpedal out of the wager that we set was John. He couldn't backpedal. There was nothing to backpedal out of. <laughs> no. But he should have realized he never wins. <laughs> The Jays, right? You know what? I think he thought after the first game, because the Jays lost the first game, I think he thought yes. he had this in the bag. No, he never thought he had it in the bag. Mm-hmm. But he thought, oh, potentially they might, he might be. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. No. Oh, my God. Definitely. The, the wager was a good one, though. He has to, he can't eat tapioca pudding for a whole and, month. And how's that going for him? It's it's going okay. Good, <laughs> good. I mean, now mind you, right? I mean, we have to go on the honor system here. He'll be fine. All right, I'm just saying, right? Yeah. No. And then he he did post <laughs> in our Facebook group how he's how he he's supposed to look and how he really looks and he should look. and he should feel the way he looks he should feel that way his team was, let him down again for the third yes. year yes he was he does not take losing well no. so it was hard for him to post especially i think when it has anything to do with me <laughs> right that, that we, might we, have we, something to we, do with it we yeah. clash that way yes you do yeah yes you do okay but but i had a thought okay I had a thought. What's your thought? I still think you should eat sweet potato pie, even though we didn't lose the wager. I think you should go to hell. (laughs) I think you should go to hell. Why am I eating a disgusting sweet sweet potato? No, you want to eat the sweet potato pie. You don't know that it's disgusting. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not eating food that I hate. You 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 have Hate never eaten. You eat sweet Ugh. potato fries, you numb nuts. I think I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Oh, stop I it. don't like the texture of a sweet potato pie in a pie. It's like a pumpkin pie. But it's a sweet potato, not a pumpkin. Oh, please. No, you want, you want the pie, not me. This is only about you. <laughs> It's not no, this. I think you because you no, always poo poo everything <laughs> that it. you've never had before. Poo 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 poo. Let's talk. Poo-poo. Let's let's talk about cottage cheese. Poo poo. So I just feel like you should eat sweet potato pie, even if I had a sign, though we if I had a won. Sign, if I had a sign, it would say poo poo. <laughs> right? No poo poo. I'm going to poo poo. I'm going to poo poo that. I still feel like you should try it. Why? Because it's actually very good, and it would go really well with all the other desserts that you like to eat because it's sweet. Do I? Can I put Dream Whip on it? Of course. Ew, no, because you don't. You put you put a little bit of oh, butter on your sweet potatoes, loud. and they you don't put, go in a pie you, shell. They go you in a eat bowl. A sweet, you eat a sweet potato. Yeah, but I don't eat it. What's with the a, difference if it's a pie? Because I don't eat it with a pastry. Oh my god! They don't mix. 
not yes, everything. They do, no, 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 not everything mixes. Like the apple and the pastry mixes. The potato doesn't mix with it. It's a sweet potato. Mm. But it's not a. It's not because I feel it's not a potato. I don't think of the sweet potato as a potato. I think of it more of a fruit that goes into a pie. Even though it's a why vegetable. would you think it's a fruit? Because it's so sweet. You sweeten up that sweet potato pie, that sweet potato, and it is like the best thing. It's better than pumpkin pie. No, nope. don't shake your head. I'm shaking don't it. Don't shake your head. And I'm holding up the invisible poo poo sign. Oh, shut up. No way. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, fine. Uh-uh. I just thought it would be nice for you to try something new for once. Why do I? I did. I tried vegan popcorn. No. I tried vegan popcorn today. You, you, <laughs> you, it was popcorn, you dumbass. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with it. Nothing I'm different saying no. about I'm it. I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-mm. Well, I will just say, John, you were a good sport. Thanks for the post. Yes, and here's thanks to, for the post. Here's to one month without tapioca pudding. Yes, <laughs> and and I'm sure we play each other again, and we can we can visit, <laughs> we can revisit all of the fun, all yes, of the can. fun. I'm sorry, Samantha, that I'm poo pooing, but I'm poo pooing. Oh, whatever. Right? Okay. Listen, here's something funny. Um, so I don't know if I had mentioned last week that I was looking for a new yogurt. Right? Remember? You told me I, you like the. Well, you the told me stirred, you like the, right? Yeah, you like the stuff. In I like the, the stirred yogurt, right? Okay, so I told Mike that I wanted that I wanted to get the stirred yogurt, and that was fine, right? And as usual, right? I got like three varieties of it of yogurt, right? Because okay. um, all right, right? Because that's how we buy things. But what I also got was I got a new thing of of pudding. The Cozy okay. Shack Pudding. Oh, that's oh. fun. Right? Cozy Shack makes good stuff. Yeah. They had made a good chocolate pudding. And I wasn't even looking for a new pudding. <laughs> but when you eat the Cozy Shack Pudding, you stop and you kind of like, you take notice. Well, they make a good rice pudding. Yeah, I don't think rice should be in a pudding. Oh, it's good. No, not rice pudding. It looks oh gross. My God. We can't agree on pudding. Not not when you bring in oh rice. God. There's two types of pudding, right? One is chocolate and one is butterscotch. <laughs> Anything else is not a pudding. Of it course just, you'd hate of course you'd hate rice pudding. It should be a side dish just called rice. Not oh my god. Rice yeah. pudding is delicious. Oh yuck. That's not cool. Really? Not, yeah. No, 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 really. Yep. How did you I, not I know this you, about you? Really? You're disgusting. That's, I think I, I'm going to beg to differ. I'm going <laughs> to beg to differ. But, okay, skipping past that, another thing that I learned this week that I really like, right? Because you know how, right? I still, right, still like struggling a little bit with my urethra Franklin. Oh, God. So I've been drinking cranberry juice, right? And I hate cranberry juice. I think cranberry yes. juice tastes like ass. Yes, you told us that. Right? Like I hate it. But... There's a diet cranberry juice, only 10 calories. Oh my God. Is it ever beyond delightful? How is a diet cranberry juice? Doesn't even juice? make sense, does it? No. It is. I kid you not. I kid you not. It goes, it defies all logic, Samantha. <laughs> all logic. Because I hate cranberry juice with a passion. <laughs> right? But then I saw it, and, it, and it's like the name brand one, and then I saw it, and it was diet, 10 calories, and I'm like, oh, God, if I'm going to have to drink this stuff, I might as well try not to kill myself. So I got the 10-calorie one, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. It's not bitter. It's not tart. It's just wonderful. Huh. Yeah, you're welcome. Isn't that the weird? I Nobody don't... says that ever about diet anything. No. I wouldn't see and I would pick up the diet because I would think it would taste icky. And that's exactly right. But I thought, oh, God, can it taste any worse? See, it's all how you think about it, right? I'm like, can it be worse? I don't think so. Let's try it. And then I was like, oh, is that... I could actually see that being my my summer beverage of choice at home. Really? That's how much I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. So screw you, Urethra Franklin. <laughs> right? <laughs> Right? Screw she's, you. She's done nothing but give you issues, but she, she gave you a diet cranberry. But she but that's what I got out of it, right? 
is I got diet. I got, she stuck around Ooh. long enough to show me diet cranberry. Well, God bless her. I know, right? <laughs> you know who, you know who, um, I don't even know how to even, where to even go with this. I'm going to just put it out there. Well, if the rumors are true. Like, I, like, I tell you, I don't, like, I'm speechless. Huh. Are you speechless with it? I don't know, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of information coming out. Like, I don't want to ever compare anybody to, like, Prince Andrew. No. However, when the when, when Bill Gates' name is being kind of mentioned along with the other dirty birds, <laughs> it kind of makes me stop and think. Huh. Would we have ever thought that this Microsoft nerdy guy mm-hmm. would would be what what some reports claim, and they just claim, mm-hmm. even though they're coming from his wife, is he a dirty bird? Is he a dirty cheating bird? <sighs> I don't know. Right? They claim that he liked feel- the women he worked with. Uh huh. Uh huh. And did business dealings with that one man. Is that Jeffrey Epstein? Yep. And that's when Melinda Gates raised her eyebrow and thought, there's a problem here. Yep. Right? There's a problem. What do we think? What do we think? I don't want to get too controversial. I don't don't know. But if he's a dirty bird, it's coming out. Ugh, right? I think that that's sad because he does so much good and I get dirty birds can do good. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But is it tainted good? Potentially now. Right? Seems a little tainted, right? So th- I don't know. I haven't been reading enough about it to know what they've been actually saying. But I know. Those two people were names were bandied about. They were bandied, right? I don't know. That is- that is the unfortunate part. I know, right? Yeah, he made it. I think. I think he's going to go down as a dirty cheating bird. Oh, well, uh, sad day. It's a sad day, but I hopefully was she gets. I hope she gets half of everything. Yeah, and then kicks him in the ass. <laughs> right, you cheating bastard! Yeah, I said that. Friends of the podcast. <laughs> I said okay, that. but but speaking of birds, okay, tell me. <laughs> Apparently. There was, there's a new yoga and it's hens. Really? Get your Zen with hens. Is it like, 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 like goat yoga? It's, yes, it's like goat yoga, but it's with hens. (laughs) So like hens on your back? It's yoga with hens. And how are hens Zen like, I wonder? Well, apparently they, they can be quite cuddly. Because they seem kind of scamperish. I don't know. Right. I don't know. I no offense, but a beak. I I thought they could peck you. They could scratch you. They can do a lot. Can, of, they can do a lot of can, harm. They could do some harm. Like, right? is every hen gonna be zen? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't see every hen being zen. <laughs> I don't, I don't see every hen being zen. I don't see every hen being zen. No, either. Like, there might be the odd zen hen, but I don't think I, every hen is zen. I was not sold with goat yoga. Okay, like. But nope. at least, at least goat yoga. Goats are kind of cute. I don't goats, think that a hen is that cute. Goats are kind of cute. Is a hen that cute? No, I don't. I don't know. People give me my but breakfast. That's the thing. Well, that's the thing is that people keep like, you know, getting chickens and they get coops in their backyards, and yeah. all of a sudden they got a hen this and a what that, and right. I'm just like, okay, people. I don't even know uh, at the age of 51 and almost 52. I don't even know. Like, is the hen the man? The, does he do the egg? Who has the egg? No, I still it's don't the understand. rooster. Oh, the I rooster. still don't understand the egg. No, it's the rooster. Rooster's the guy. The hen is the woman. Okay. The guy, the girl, whatever. Okay. And she lays the eggs. But no offense. I just don't know. No offense. I don't I don't want a goat on me. I don't want a hen on me. I don't <laughs> I want. Take a I don't want. first. I don't do, I, I'm not, I'm not zenning with farm animals. Sorry. Girl, you know, I don't just, see you being a farm animal girl. No, it's wrong. Right. I, I think like, I don't, I don't want animals anywhere near yoga. 
Like, I think, yes, let them, like, give them, like, like, free range, let free range away, but do they have to interact with me? Well, like, ugh, I don't know. Right. We get, like, ugh, I get it. It's a passing fancy. I understand that. But it just seems really, really, just leave the poor hen alone. Yeah, I, like, I don't, I Just think, leave that hen alone. Yeah, I think the hen is not zen. No. It's not a zen hen. No, it's not. I don't think a hen's zen. I can't, I can't <laughs> see it. I think that they, I think they're anxious. I think they have angst. <laughs> That's what I think. And I think one bad yeah. day and they're going to peck your back to death. Well, they could pick your eye out. Like, that's wrong. Yeah, that's not zen. The hands aren't zen. zen. Hands aren't zen. No. No. There's okay. Just, no. Ugh, I think. Okay. Lisa. Samantha. You've been wondering how we should get more listeners to the podcast. Yeah. Always wondering how to get more listeners to the podcast. Sarah. I think Sarah Silverman has come up with a really, a really interesting idea. All right. She bared her butt on Instagram to promote her podcast in, in the hopes of drumming up some listeners. So you're going to show your ass? I think you're going to show your ass. Oh, my ass. Lisa, what would you do to promote our podcast? Samantha, my ass, not what it once was. Right? It's not as pretty as it once was, I don't think, anymore, right? There's too much muscle mass came no, off my neither. butt. Right? It's old so and skinny. So what we could... What we could do is we could get somebody else's butt oh. and like Photoshop it on your butt. Oh. And then let's see what we can do. I do believe this was her butt. Okay. In the I picture. Do, I do I, think I, I still have good legs. <laughs> right? You know. Yes. But do we, like, how far are you willing to go, Lisa, to promote the podcast? Yeah. You know, here's the thing, right? I don't know if I, you know what? I think that if I start showing, um, naked body parts i think that we're gonna drive people away <laughs> right like we're 52 yeah. samantha for god's sakes right <laughs> like can't we have a bake sale or a lemonade <laughs> sale and just videotape uh, it on instagram or something yeah, like that we could we could have a lemonade stand right? we could uh we could like sell cookies go door we to could door sell cookies yeah we could like go door to door like the girl guide sell cookies and yeah. and hey you know and here's a link here's a link to our podcast right i mean i'm yeah, i'm all for good yeah right you get like here you get like a special one of those special like qvr signal signs or whatever right like I'm all yeah. for pimping out. I I'm all for pimping shit out, but I don't know if if pimping it out is like with my body anymore. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. I think God, I I got to believe those days are gone. I think they are. I think they are. <laughs> what 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 would you do? What would you do? I'm not doing anything like that. Right? I'm just hoping that it's just our <laughs> our kind-hearted ridiculous but relatable banter and fun that make people want to listen not my yeah, ass an occasional potty mouth yeah not your ass not okay. my ass all right I don't, I don't know if my ass is going to dr drive traffic okay so this is where we draw the line there is no ass on the ig there's no to ass to promote the podcast no that we're there's drawing not a, a line there's, in the sand there's not a, a quick boob slip there's nothing there's no nip slip nothing like that no there's no. Nothing like that. Okay. No, no, good. no. Good to no, know. Good to know. No, no. Woo. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like, in case you were thinking, oh, yeah, you know what? She's been talking. I think I'm in a better <laughs> chance you'll see me peddling my wares for, like, cookies or lemonade. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, on to Facebook Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. How fun was that? Okay. Well, it was pretty good. Uh, There was a uh, resounding honey buns are out. But somebody said that honey buns grilled are really good. I know. And I thought grilled, that's odd, but I can understand it. And I thought, well, maybe. But maybe. A pair, well, that and snowballs. What the hell is a snowball? So here's the thing, friends of the podcast, right? So as you know, right, we're Canadian. Only two of those item, items were actually from Canada, right? Yeah. We did this, uh, friend of the podcast, um, Heather Lindsay sent us picture and we decided to use it. We changed it a bit, but we took her theme mm -hmm. and, and we, and, and most of that stuff is American. It's American, right? What the hell's a snowball? Well, I don't, I think I've seen a snowball, 
Have you? But I knew enough that it had coconut on it. And that was the major reason why people kicked it. To it's the, the coconut. And yeah, I, they love like co- the- I love coconut. No, they didn't like the coconut. Huh. But they like the ho-ho. Yeah, well, apparently I'm like, I kicked the ho-ho because, But isn't know, the ho-ho like a Swiss roll? Yeah, but yeah, it's dry. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. But people kick Twinkies and I, I was taking that to heart because I love a good Twinkie. You love a good Twinkie? Yes, because apparently, <laughs> I can't remember who posted it, um, said that, okay, so you like something that can withstand a nuclear war that can be buried for a thousand years and still be edible. Yes. yes that's what I'm saying. That's what that you're is, saying. It's totally what I'm saying. But uh, from the Canadian side of it, I was pretty happy that there was a lot of love for the a Carmel. Yes, there was. Right. That made my heart happy. And sometimes you just need a good Joe Louis. And then somebody commented and said, said, do you guys say that in French? And I'm like, nope, it's just total Joe Louis. Joe Louis. Right? It's not like Joe, <laughs> Joe Louis. Not like that. It's just Joe no. Louis. It's a Joe Louis. Right? Yeah. It's just as okay. English as it can be. Yes. But there is a couple of people who had never had any, apparently, any of the f- bad sugary treats on the Facebook post. So they're so sheltered. Carrie, Caroline, and Kay, apparently, and there might have been a couple more, but they all said they'd never had any of them. And I'm like, Caroline, Caroline. what is wrong with you? You, ne- <laughs> you never had a Joe Louis? Apparently, her, her coke, apparently, her cocum said that they were bad for her and they never had them. So, wow, I, wasn't she a good girl growing <laughs> so, up? Yeah, she was a good girl. I said, but I told her, I said, if you do decide to give it a go and try any one of them, I said, I need you to document this for me. <laughs> yes, exactly. And guess what, Caroline? My mom used to say they were really bad for us and we used to hide them. <laughs> <laughs> or when they'd go in for supper, we'd go and buy them and then we'd eat them. Right, we would hoard them. Oh my god, that's yeah. so funny! Oh yeah. my god, too funny. Yeah, so it was a good, another good Facebook Tuesday. It was guys. lots of fun. So now is when we ask you guys to share us with your friends and your family and people that you know who just want to have a good laugh. Just get them to subscribe to I Shake My Head. They can subscribe, the download, you know, when you download the episodes that we get to know if you're listening to us, it tells us, you know, if you guys are, you guys like the last couple of episodes. Samantha, we just had our 100,000th download. I know. So crazy, hey? So good. So good. And everybody who's listening, you guys were a part of that. So it's your ha ha too. Yeah. Exactly. Right? You can listen to us at pod.link slash ismh or ismhead.podbean.com. You can join in the fun on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're always doing something. So if you like it, quote, uh, you know, talk to us. We, we'll talk back. We talk back. We talk back. Um, if you'd like to support the podcast, because you it, it does take a little bit of money to run the podcast and do all the things that we do, you can go to Patreon or Podbean Patreon. Apparently over my face in Podbean, there's a little money bag. Hit that and you can subscribe to that. Um, and Patreon is patreon.com slash ISM. Uh, I shake my head uh, at Patreon. Sorry. You're like, you're like all over the place. I am all over the place. Uh, we do have Threadless, which is merch. So you can go to ishakemyhead.threadless.com. You can have a bag, uh, a mug. Everybody needs a water bottle. A water bottle, right? Our little face. Or you can get a mask with our faces on it. Yeah. That would be fun. we're still going to be wearing those for a little bit. Yeah, I think so. In Canada, at least. Yeah. Um, and we are also part of the Podfix network and there's lots of great podcasts on that network as well. So go check it out. But better news, bigger news. Ooh, bigger than that. Boom, baby bakery news. I know. <laughs> I love that people are just always thinking about it, keeping it top I of know. mind. So Christine has suggested buttermilk lemon pie. What do we think about this? I think it would be delicious. Oh, why does the buttermilk throw me off? Because you think it's sour. That's why. That is why, right? (laughs) 
<laughs> and I wonder why it's in my pie. You wonder why it's in your pie. But it's kind of like a- the sweet potato pie. So no. let's go there, shall I we? I don't want completely so you're reasons. more than willing you're more than willing to try a buttermilk lemon pie but you won't try a sweet potato pie so first off i have not committed to the buttermilk lemon pie what i've said is i like lemon pie i don't uh-huh. know if i can wrap my brain around the buttermilk but i'd be willing to try it but no you're right i highly yeah. doubt that you'll do, like do you honestly think you're going to taste it in the pie no, that's why I think it'll be okay. But unlike the yes. sweet potato, I'm going to take st- that in the pie. Oh, my God. Yeah. So Okay. So let's see if Sheila the Baker will maybe give that a shot. See if she can give that a shot. Uh-huh. And, and Kim had three different kinds of scones. She was a baking fool the other day. That's so crazy, hey? Them. Yeah, she baked raspberry, blueberry, and cinnamon scones. That's they looked wonderful. They looked delicious. Yeah, they really, really did. I feel like Mama's going to be super busy. She is right, <laughs> but you know what? It's good, right? She's got a little bit of time on her hands, right? And then we'll test it all out. <laughs> and then we'll test it all out. We'll, we'll test we'll it all know. out, right? And uh, yeah, we'll let you know. We got to keep her busy. Got to keep the got to keep the baker busy. Well, because we haven't added anything new to the, your faux bakery, so... Not for a bit, right? Not, not. I think the last thing we added was a sandwich. Oh, yes, the big right? sandwich. Right, right, it was a sandwich, <laughs> if I recall. Um, so, yeah, we need... Right? There's, we can always add some new things. But guess what? Oh. I had this... Guess what I had this weekend? Uh-huh. We had the first, the first steak on the barbecue. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Was it good? Uh, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Did you kill your cow? I didn't kill my cow because I didn't cook it. <laughs> no, but like you like it well, 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 crispy. I like it. I like it to not resemble a cow. <laughs> yes. Whereas you like yours to be still mooing on the plate. I like it. To, I like it to be red inside still. Yeah. You like to be able to dip in the blood. Tastes good. It's not good. That's like cannibalism. So far no, from not. veganism. So far no, from it's being not. a vegan. It's actually how you should have your steak. Your steak should be medium to medium rare. No, that's disgusting. It's not cooked. <sighs> it's delicious. If we, were, if we were meant to eat raw meat, we wouldn't even have a barbecue. No, it was delicious. No, I'm just saying. My steak was delicious. <laughs> how is that little barbecue treating you? It's treating us good. We're doing burgers. We're doing hot dogs. <laughs> And for some reason, like he he's loving doing the hot dogs. Like usually, usually that novelty wears off, eh? Really? Yeah, but I think it's not as much work because there's only that one little right. Ever since we took off the big um, the big cover, mm-hmm. now there's just a little cover. Oh, remember because we had to take the big one off, right? Because we couldn't allow the canoodling. <laughs> Right, we needed to stop the canoodling. So uh-huh. I think I think it's less work now to 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 put it back together. Oh, I see. So, so now it's like, I really want a barbecue now. Right? It's like the one at the lake, right? The bad thing with the one at the lake is that big cover. Well, it is. And then there's, okay, I've said this before. That there's Lots the of fear rules. of There's a fear of blowing it up. So. Right? <laughs> and it's right against the cabin. And no, oh, I know. I know, right? It's so, so stressful. You're, you're giving me panic attacks and we're not even, it's six We're not out. even there. I know. We're not even there yet. <laughs> okay. But you know what? So, so it's good. So all, all, all is well with the barbecue season. We are well into it. We're doing well. I think we're right where we need to be at this time of year. Oh my God. That's, that's you how actually, I feel. Did, okay. You have a timeline for your barbecue? Well, I think for like the different foods, right? Like we don't go too crazy right at the beginning. Like we're not going to start kebabs yet. It's a little soon for <laughs> kebabs, right? We're just, we're still just getting the rust off, Samantha, right? We're still just it's too, it's too, too early soon. for kebabs, right? Because you don't want to mess up a kebab, right? Because they're expensive. Uh-huh, this is right? true. You gotta, right. you gotta like... Warm yourself up to a kebab. Is yeah, that what right? you're saying? Yeah, you got to warm, yeah, you, because they're special, those kebabs. kebabs they are, are, and they burn, and right? they're, you know, right? the they take a lot of pa- fire. Right? A lot yeah. of patience need to be with, so we're not there. We're not there. We're right now, we're strictly burgers and dogs, and, and, and it was surprise steak. But well, I was, congrats. but I was told, don't expect steak all the time, Lisa. <laughs> mm. 
And I'm like, okay, Mike. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, but... So this happened to me the other day. I was doing so good sticking to my egg and yogurt diet. Uh-huh. Like so, so good, hey? And every day at lunch, I had my two eggs and my yogurt, two eggs and my yogurt, two eggs and my yogurt. I was doing so good. And then what did the cafe have to do? They had to go along and have pork sliders with coleslaw as the lunch entree. <laughs> Talk about <Did> sabotage. You- <laughs> Talk about... Talk about sabotage. It's a cafe. Uh, yeah, that's sad. Eh? Right? So even your egg and yogurt diet isn't really vegan? <laughs> Why is it? Vegan, it's, it's vegan-ish? There's no meat. Uh-huh. There's no but meat. But the pork slider, Lisa, mm. that's not vegan. I was kicking it old school. That's back to old school. Ew. <laughs> old school Lisa with the pork. Yeah. Right? Old school Lisa with the pork. And now I haven't been able to get back onto my egg diet. Oh, because, you know. Because I enjoyed the food. (laughs) Yes, you like the food. I like the food. And I'm like, ah. And I had spent two weeks convincing myself that I loved the egg and the yogurt. I bet you. I am sure you had fully convinced yourself that you could subsist. Subsist. Like, oh, my God. I was doing so well. Like, I think I I'm, su- I'm surprised you lasted as long as you did. I know, right? <laughs> like I was you get doing bored. So- you get bored of food in like 2 days. I know, I was doing so so good. But you know what it was? It's because I got to put a little bit of pepper on the egg. Oh, good god. That's right? that's what changed your world. Yeah. Cuz I was able to put a little and I like pepper, right? <laughs> and the lady at the cafe she's like, "Did you want a and a pepper?" I'm like, "Ooh, and a pepper." I would like Anna Pepper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they must see you coming and they're like betting. They're betting to see hey, what you're going to hey, buy for lunch. Yeah. Hey, gift shop lady. What are you buying today? Gift shop lady. <laughs> yeah, that's my nickname, right? Is I'm the gift shop lady. <laughs> huh? Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and, and a pepper. Ooh, and a pepper. And Right, and at first when it was like add a salt, and I'm like, let's take those eggs and make them bad. Add a salt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I swear to God, they probably gossip about you. I'm sure they do, right? I'm sure. I am sure that they do. <laughs> Why oh, wouldn't she's they? Off, she's off the diet. She's off the diet. <laughs> oh, she she went she went straight ahead towards the real food, <laughs> right? And I I had no intentions, and then the person in front of me. I saw, I heard, oh, pork slider. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Mother Parker. Mother Parker. To quote the HHG, Mother Parker, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know what's so awesome. funny? This has nothing to do with this, just since I just brought up the HHG. So she, 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 uh, she sent me a text just right before we started to record. This is all, this is what it said. Ah, oh, shit. This comes in three little points. Ah, oh, shit. Just had a fucking nap. Now what? <laughs> now what? I'll tell you now what, HHG. <sighs> nighttime naps lead to no sleep. Yes. Right? You know better. No nighttime naps. There's no nighttime naps. Right? You can't have a nighttime nap. You can't have a nap after supper. That's bed. Yeah, that is bed. Yeah. So I thought it was kind of funny, right? Oh, shit. Just had a fucking nap. She was like, you could, like, you could just hear how angry she was at herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I know, too, too funny, hey? Too funny. Okay, I read something and I thought I'm going to push this past you and see what you think. Okay, because now we're women of a certain age, so I'm we not are. sure. Yeah. Okay. There's a company called Nix. Okay. And they sell underwear, bras, panties, and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. They sell. Period panties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get graphic because this is what it said. Okay. It holds four teaspoons of blood. Ew. No muss, no fuss. They have, they sell them in packs. So they sell like a teen pack and then they sell like an adult pack where you can get like in the pack, you get like, I don't know, four, four panties and other stuff. Uh-huh. But one pair of underwear for adults, they range from $32 to $45. That's for one panty. So I can bleed in it? 
Yes. You can wear it to bed and it and you can and you can bleed in it. This is for like heavy, like it goes light to medium and then there's heavy flow, I think. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, okay. Why? One, where was this when I was first starting out with this? Ooh, would you have used that? I don't know. Like ew, it sounds ew. like it might work. No, but it sounds like ew. it might work. It doesn't sound like it might work. It sounds dirty. No, people reviewed it. They said it really worked. Mm. There was reviews. They're fake. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> they are make up. They're made up by people. They're no. friends, friends of friends. You but would like, think about putting on a pair of panties knowing that you're going to bleed in them all night long. But apparently it catches it like a tampon kind of thing. And then you just wash it. Ew. With my clothing? <laughs> It's like a pamper, and and, I, and let me throw the <laughs> shitty diaper in there. Oh, and don't, honey, oh. don't forget my shirt and my bra. <laughs> ew, ew. I don't, I don't know. Ew. I didn't, I didn't read the care instructions for this, but I'm just like, okay. So one, I thought interesting. Two, like you, kind of gross. Three, all I thought was I feel ripped off because when I was a teen, where was I this? Don't, I don't feel ripped off. Do you remember what it was like when we were young? Yeah, you slapped you slapped the, the mattress between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> right? Cause 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 good girls didn't wear a tampon when you were young, right? <laughs> thank God, thank hallelujah. Oh and I don't God. say this very often in my life. Hallelujah for my oldest sister who was like, here, try this. Oh, look at that. I can go swimming. <laughs> I can play baseball tonight. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right? Without like, everybody being able to see the outline of my seven foot long wraparound maxi pad. Oh, God. They were disgusting. And I'm like, okay. So that, and then it totally got me on a totally different frame of thought right was we know that this has been happening forever yeah, to like women since, since women were born since the dawn of time since right? eve ate the apple and we haven't gone past some of like it took us till now to do something a little bit better for women during that time of the month, during it, their it, period. But is this better? Well, I mean. I just think a tampon is like a fucking piece of like like heaven. Woohoo. It is. But even still, it's like there's so much that we have to go through. And it takes us, it t has taken forever to get True. to a point where it's better for us. Yes. And, I, and all I thought was. But just of think of how horrible it must be in other countries, like underdeveloped countries. Exactly. How oh horrible my God. that monthly process must be. I can't. And we're I not this podcast, but I get what you're saying. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm I'm holding up the invisible poo-poo sign. <laughs> and I am poo-pooing the holds four tablespoons of blood. What happens if I bleed more than four? Then I think you're in trouble. Then you have an issue. <sighs> Well, I think this is, I don't know. Is it for women of a certain age? I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't know. Like you get to my age and things can go south pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't and know. And it could be a raging river and all whatever. But my point is, Lisa. Samantha. My point is, is that if we want something to get done, a woman has to invent it for a woman. I guess, I guess that's probably true, right? Because, oy vey. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, I I'm, I got nothing. Oh, I, I got know. nothing. Interesting. I'm just, I'm just, I brought that up because I was just like, shut up. Huh. Where was this when I needed you? <laughs> yeah. I, you know what? I don't know if I needed it or if I wanted it. Oh, okay. Well, I'd be willing to try it. Well, okay. Well, why don't you buy one and try one? <laughs> and let me know how that worked out for you. Already, I will. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Samantha. Oh, right, okay. Lisa. Okay. Salmon. You like it? I'm not as fond of it as you are. And I, the reason I ask, Samantha, is because I was thinking the other day about me and you. And I feel, you know what? I feel I have a pretty good handle on you. I feel I know. I'm not going to say 100% of your things, but I'm going to say like 
like 95. Uh-huh. I feel I feel I know lots of you. And I thought, you know what? I know that you don't love salmon like I do, which which I mean, that's fine. But 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 I never have understood why cuz you like fish. I like fish. Why not salmon? I'm never really I'm never really comfortable cooking salmon because I feel like you can overdo it with salmon and then all of a sudden it's like <sighs> Because you know me in a restaurant, right? If there's a good piece of salmon, you're I'm doing getting it. it. I'm getting yeah. it, right? I and know. you, not so much. I, and I don't think you should ever get salmon in a prairie province. <laughs> <laughs> I think that there's some, you know, there's been some restaurants that we've gone to and it's like, oh, that sounds so good. But would I eat yeah. the salmon at the Boston pizza? Maybe I no, wouldn't. No, I don't know if it's wouldn't. a Boston pizza special. I don't think you would eat lobster in a prairie province not ideally no it's not f- how fresh could it be well right if you're gonna feed me trout or pickerel or a fish i knew that was in and around the area different i would believe that it's fresh yes or fresher that's a good point how frozen is that salmon how frozen <laughs> is that salmon right <laughs> and i don't care because i just think it's got a good sauce and does it come with lots of lemon? Because that's really why I want it. I want, I want and, schnitzel and, and salmon only because I love the lemon. I know. That's my and two favorites. That, and that's the difference between you and me. I consider where we're eating yeah. <laughs> as to how big is this menu and how how much of it could they really get good, like well, spot right? on. Exactly. Right. Sometimes- I'm sorry. I grew up... I grew up serving in the restaurant world. I was a waitress in different places here in Saskatoon. Yeah. I've eaten good food. That's right. I know what it tastes like. I agree 100%, right? I agree 100%. That is so funny. I just wanted to know. I was curious. That's, you'll eat it regardless. It doesn't matter. I will. I will. I don't care. Doesn't matter. We We could try salmon up at the lake, Lisa. We could try barbecuing it. All right. Maybe we will. Huh, you're going to do it. Well, we're going to look at the price. <laughs> That's true. Right? That's what we're going to do. <sighs> All right. Now it's time for Guess Who's Got Questions. Lisa's Got Questions. It's Lisa's Question Corner. Samantha, I got a couple questions. Oh, God. Here we go. Haven't I answered enough? No. Every every day I got new questions. Oh, All right. You ready for this one? Here, number sure. one. All right. What's what's with aluminum foil? Aluminum foil? Like what's with aluminum foil? Well, I think you can't do anything without aluminum foil. Like but baking. Who, who decided we needed aluminum foil? Somebody who's really smart and wanted to make a buck. But you can do lots. All it does is it lines your pan. Yeah, but it keeps it clean. So is aluminum foil just simply like it ends to a means for lazy people? No. It was a know. brilliant invention because if it's if you want to coat your pan, you put it in there. If you want to cover it with something, aluminum foil is perfect for that. You want the heat to stay in. That's what aluminum foil does. It keeps the heat in. I'm just curious. What's with aluminum? That's my question. You're a baker. How do you? You're a chef, Lisa. Because I'm always I'm always questioning the boundaries. <laughs> That's why. Okay, my next question, Samantha. Uh, all right. What did we do before takeout? Oh, God, I think we made food all the time. Like, we must have. Hey? Like, I remember takeout as a kid. It was a special thing. Uh-huh. Right? Like, it was like a special treat to have takeout. I think going out to get food was, like, a big deal. Yeah, but, like, like we used to get, like, takeout Chinese food when we were young, and that was a big deal. Yeah, or pizza, like, getting pizza yeah, in. right? Now it's just, like, like it's just, like, your God-given right. <laughs> right? That's true. That's and- very, very true. What did we do before then, I wonder? I don't know. Because like on a Saturday night, yeah. you could get pizza. Yeah. It would be movie night with pizza. Yep. Yeah. And it, it was a popcorn. treat. Popcorn. It was yeah. a treat. It wasn't because we were too lazy. No. It was oh, a treat. Oh, because now, is that where you're going? You think people are lazy now? Well, I don't know. Is that is that why is that why we do take out as much as what we do? I think people minus do. Minus the pandemic. Minus <laughs> the pandemic, people. <laughs> well, if you're going to weigh in the pandemic, people are doing it now because they're done making food. They're done making food. They're over it. And will they ever get back to it? <laughs> yeah, probably. You think so? Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, my next, here's my next question. And this isn't so much, this is more an observation. Uh-huh. So in Saskatoon, we drive by on my way to work. We drive by, um, like kind of the park where, where, where the snappy, snappy geese live. <laughs> right? And there's hundreds of snappy, snappy geese there. There is geese all over. Why Saskatoon. are geese so mean? Because Mike says, hey, do you want to go for a walk by the river and look at the geese? And I said to him, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to probably get 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 called on the carpet. But I said to him, you know, Mike, I'll kick them to death. No, don't. If they come after me and hiss, I'm going to kill them. Yes. I'm going to kill them. They are not nice. No, right? But yet they they're, they just take over. But do you think potentially the reason why they're not nice is because they're they're like hunted? Are they hunted? Yes, aren't they? I don't for what? Like a coat? No. I think people shoot geese. I know they shoot duck. Duck. I people don't know. People eat ducks. But like why are geese so mean? Like there I don't they know. are in our beautiful park. Uh-huh. Just being mean. Well, and shitting everywhere. And shitting everywhere, right? I get that from I get that from the pigeon, right? Also known as the <laughs> sky rat. I understand that behavior. But a beautiful goose should not act like that. No, that's true. They are above the pigeon, are they not? Apparently. Yeah, apparently not. I don't they're mean. I think we, uh, friends of the podcast, why are geese so mean? Why are geese so mean? That's what I want to know. Those are my questions, Samantha. Those are good ones, Lisa. Yeah. Guess what? I'm looking for a new casual shoe. Oh, God. Where's the HHG? No. No. I don't think so. <laughs> I, you, can't, you can't push everything off onto the HHG. Yes, I can. No. You can't. <laughs> you can't. So I've seen she, one. Okay. We've already established. Mm. Let me hear me out. Okay. We've already established that she is a great shopper. She is a great shopper. And that she enjoys the challenge. Yes. Hence was she... Should go with you. I don't think she enjoys my challenge, though. I think she does. She went eyeglass shopping with you. Yeah, that's true. That's you true. guys did really well. We did. We did. Right? You wanted no I, part I of that. I feel. I f- yeah. I feel that she was up for the challenge. She was, but I don't think. I don't think that she'll be up for every challenge that you don't want to take. No, I think she can handle casual shoes. She's she has great shoes. She's got good taste, so I feel like she is the right person. I just for want you. a new pair of like slip on Converse or slip on running shoes. I don't need complicated <laughs> shoes. I think the HHG is more about fancy shoes. Oh my god, she's oh, okay. So you're saying I'm the basic bitch here? Is that what <laughs> you're, you're the saying? basic bitch shoe? She's okay, the fancy thank shoe. You. Yeah. Uh huh. You okay. said it, not me. Uh huh. You're officially shopping by yourself. Oh, fine. I, there's a pair that I keep seeing on the internet. I'm going to maybe get them. <laughs> I'm going to maybe get them. And who makes them, Lisa? I don't know who. Nobody. Nobody important. That's what I know. Uh, yeah. Then don't, hey? Cause I'm have just you got saying. that water bottle yet? No, but remember I got my China shoe. <laughs> Stop. Right? Don't buy it. Uh, don't buy from a, sho- a place that you don't know. So I'm one for one. Oh, I feel I need to break the tie. I feel like you should just not do that. Mm. You should send me a picture and let me let me see what your shoe looks like. You're gonna say it looks like all your all your basic summer shoes. <laughs> then I. <laughs> That's what you're gonna say. Then it, why does anybody need to be with you? Well, I'm just you saying. Already, you've already decided. Maybe just for moral support. Oh God. That type of thing. Okay, that's okay. fine. That's fine. I know where all you right. stand. I know where you stand. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Okay. So I was watching Wendy the other day. Uh huh. And it was a panel of four ladies and herself. Right. And they were talking about some stuff. And apparently, Tiffany's, the, the fancy jewelry company, Tiffany's, yes. has come out with a line of men's diamond engagement rings. Oh. Yeah. I saw them. They were hideous. Really? <laughs> Yes, it looked like a. It looked like the you know the gangsters who wear the gold pinky rings with the diamonds. Oh yeah, in yeah, them. yeah, yeah. That's what it looked. Nice, like. nice. Like from the seventies, you know, with the. Oh my god, it looked horrendous. And I'm I like, I think women try to make their man something other than what they are with 
what they choose for a male engagement ring. Well, one lady was like, why should the man get the engagement ring? I'm the prize. I should get the ring. And I'm there like, well, go. there's that There's that train of thought. There is that train of thought, <laughs> and, too. But the one girl said, it was so funny. She's like, they don't even look like good Costco rings. And I'm <laughs> like, that's it. They don't even look like good Costco rings. Wow, hey. <laughs> so that's a piece of crap ring. It is a piece of crap ring. But I'm just wondering, like, do you think, would ha- would Mike have worn an engagement ring? No, he wears a wedding ring. But he would, would he ne- have worn never, an engagement ever, ring? Never, ever, ever. No, are you kidding me? He never wore a ring before we got married. Now, he does wear a wedding ring, and he never takes it off. So uh-huh. I give him that. But it is very basic. It's just a gold band. He wanted nothing fancy at all. <laughs> Right. And sometimes I, that's what I think is sometimes I think we try to buy something fancy for them and that's just not who they are. No. Yeah. Right. Not at all. No. No. Mike would want no part of that. None of that. He thinks that a wedding ring is like it's like a noose for your finger. <laughs> right. Of course he does. Right. So he wears it. The <laughs> noose around his finger. <laughs> Right. Oh my God! Yeah, twenty years okay. of love—that is all about there. Yeah, I'll have you know. So, hey, new Blizzard flavors. Oh, yeah. It okay, is, it's ice cream time too. It is right. So, here's two that sound really, really, really good, Samantha. Okay, one is the Girl Scout Thin Mint Blizzard. Oh, that sounds good, right? Because you remember the, you know, those Girl Scout the Thin Mint ones. Those are those, good. Those are good cookies. That one, and this one, I think sounds so wonderful. Raspberry Fudge Bliss, and what it does is it boasts real raspberries mixed with fudge pieces and chocolate chunks. No. What? No, I can't. I I don't like raspberry and chocolate together. Oh. I know. I know, I'm totally disappointing. Totally. Um, but you know that I'm not really... Uh, so, okay. is not my, it's not my so, go-to. So if you're going to do a blizzard, what are you doing? What You can make any blizzard in the world. What are you picking? <sighs> well, I do like mint. Yeah. But oddly enough, I kind of like... Like, I wouldn't eat normally a score bar. Right. But score bars... Cut up, like chunkied up into a blizzard is really good. Okay. I enjoy that. But I would I would actually go for the Girl Scout Thin Mint Blizzard. I think that would be a good one. Yeah. I but think- I don't think I don't think I would I don't know. Oh my god. If they could make a tiger tiger blizzard. Oh, not a tiger tiger blizzard. Oh, I'd be totally, totally No. Bubble. Yeah. <gasps> Bubblegum. No, not a bubblegum oh blizzard. God, I knew that I was would coming. totally be there. <laughs> it pretty much already is a blizzard. Right, that's true. But a uh, tiger, tiger, that would be awesome. Mm, yes. <sighs> I would do the thin mint. I would do the thin mint. Do you ever think about the type of vegetables that you eat? No, I just usually eat them. I don't really think about them. So I think about them. Imagine that. And I was thinking the other day. You know what? You can buy fresh vegetables, and you can buy canned vegetables. Yes, Lisa. And most of the same vegetables will come in a can. But should they? Yes, because some people liked canned vegetables over fresh vegetables. And canned vegetables obviously last longer because they're in a can. So So it's actually practical. But is there any vegetables that shouldn't go in a can? Well, but, I mean, for obvious reasons, I don't give a shit about a lima bean. I hate green beans. I like, agree. Green beans. Uh, but do you hate uh, green beans in real, like real green beans? Yes. Blech, 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 I, blech, I would take blech. those in real life, but not in a can. No, I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, uh, like. Peas, peas are mushy in the can. Peas are mushy in a can. I prefer them frozen if you're going to buy them. And canned anything, corn is actually not bad though. Canned corn, I think, might be the only real canned veggie that I think is worthwhile because not a mixed, because mm, no. No. Right? Not a carrot? No. I've never seen canned carrots. But you can get pieces of the carrots, right? Because you can in the mix. There's a mix? There's like a mix. It's like peas and corn and carrots. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not fr- no, not in a can. In a can. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, are the okay, then my pet peeve is are those carrots square? Square. Okay. And carrots don't so, come square. Carrots don't Carrots come don't come square. square. <laughs> like who are they fooling, right? Like 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 corn comes like corn. So so in a can it's a niblet, okay? I'll give you right. that. Right? But corn but carrots don't come square. No, they don't. And so and then so then my problem is uh, that's why I don't buy um, frozen mixed vegetables either because they're because square. They're square. They're square. And square carrots don't taste like carrots. They just look like ugh. Because they can't be carrots because carrots don't come square. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? Like like who decided that? Who, who decided? Oh, nobody's even going to notice this one. Really? No. Like it just it makes no sense why they're square. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. None. That's my pet. That's my pet. And it's got to be a whole lot more work. <laughs> it does. Right? Oh, my God. Somebody didn't oh think God. through square carrots. I don't know. They didn't. You no. you left you left everything else alone, but you had yeah. to screw up the carrots. You had to screw up the carrots, which I get. So now, you know what? So really, it should be no carrots in a can. No carrots ever in a can. Or frozen. Or frozen. Right? Right. Yeah. So because now I'm I'm like, I don't eat carrots. Like if they're frozen, they're disgusting. No. Yeah. And the only time I eat a carrot is if it's baked or, or, or if it's just roast. or in pot roast right. or if they're just fresh. Yes. Like a raw carrot. I will right. eat a, a normal raw carrot with some dip. And that's it. That's yeah. it, man. That's it. And they're not square. No, no. I, I have it. I have values. <laughs> They're, we're not monsters. So we don't, don't, don't pawn off square carrots on us and think we're not going to notice. Oh, but obviously oh nobody calls the carrot people on these carrots. No, nobody has. Nobody has. Well, I guess what? Maybe dear carrots. Yes. Yeah, Lisa, dear. dear carrots, Lisa and Sam calling you out. <laughs> right? Screw you, fake Screw carrots. Screw you, carrots. Right? You're, we have just exposed you. <laughs> Because what if, oh my God, going to blow your mind right now. Okay. What if the fake carrot, the carrot, the square carrot is actually a turnip just died? It could be. And that's why I hate them because I hate turnips. I like turnips, but again, I think, but I think it would be an awful lot of work to make a square turnip too. (laughs) But, but when you're doing turnips, you do cut them into cubes. Right. Right. So more, uh, more better chance. I think the carrot's getting screwed. I think the carrot is getting screwed. Carrot's getting screwed and nobody's coming to its defense but us. Nope. Yep. I'm just saying. You know what I want more than anything right now? I want my body to understand that it can sleep past 6 a.m. on a day off. (laughs) That's what I want. Do you just like, boing, I'm up. Completely. Totally (laughs) wide awake, ready for my day. And then I think if I get out of bed right now, I am the world's biggest loser. (laughs) So I will just lie here till eight being the world's biggest loser. I will just lie here. And that seems so much better. (laughs) What do you do? Lie there, stare at the ceiling? Yeah. Or I'll play, you know, Yahtzee on my phone. Oh my God. Because I feel like if I get out of bed, then why am I out of bed so early on my day off? This is true. As a po- but even though I'm lying in bed, wide awake. But nobody on their day off gets up at six and has a shower. No. Right? You got no, no plans. You got no plans. No. Right? That's what I want my body to know. Okay. I have, I, I have, I have a solution. Okay. What if you get up at six, Yeah. but you don't get showered or anything? Uh-huh. You take yourself to the magic couch. Oh. Right? Oh. And you lay yourself on the magic couch and you put something on the TV that you don't give a shit about. Uh huh. <laughs> and you just fall back asleep. You might fall back asleep. I might fall back asleep. Because you say the couch is magic. So is maybe magic. you need your magic couch maybe. to like gently sway you back. Has to, to sleep. pinch it. <laughs> Has to pinch it. But you're going to have to leave your bed. I mean, I have to leave my bed. Can All right, I will give that. To, I'll give that some thought this Saturday when I wake up at okay. six a.m. I'll think about it. Mag- All right, magic coat it, coach it. Okay, sounds good. Oh. Okay, so as we ease ourselves into summer, yeah, because it's coming. Um, do we feel 
that we are less comfy in the summer. Because it seems that summer isn't quite as comfy as we would say fall or winter or even spring might be. Okay. So do you feel like summer isn't quite as comfy as the rest of the seasons? I feel summer's not as forgiving. Why well, for I feel like it's not comfy. And what we mean by comfy means it seems more forgiving to be at home after a day of work in the winter uh-huh. with like comfy pants and t-shirt, no bra. Yeah. As opposed so, to in the summertime. Mm. Well, okay. How are so you presenting? One, well, cause like summer means like less clothing to cover up the yeah. parts of you that I'm you don't a, enjoy. I'm, I am like white trash. I have a pair of <laughs> cut off pajama <laughs> bottoms. Homemade cut off ones by me. <laughs> and a tank top. It's not pretty. And a tank top. It's not no, a pretty it's look. Not good. No, it's not good at all. Like it's not for public. No. No. But I'm just wondering, like, cause summer cause summer it sometimes summer is not comfy. It's not as comfy. No. No, right? Because because it's too revealing. I think we put too much effort on what we look like going into summer. And I think we should just mm. put on that t-shirt and those pair of shorts, put on your flip flops or your whatever shoe you like. Because it's meant to be comfy. You should just go out and be out in the world right? and not just, worry. And not worry. I just ask that the parts of you that are showing are clean. Are clean. Are shaved. Taken care of. <laughs> Taken care of. Right. Put and you got some in. pit st- and you got some pit stick on. <laughs> yeah, right. At least do that, right? Like don't be smelly in the summer. I agree. I think I think I think not as much uh, emphasis. Yes. We have but to I, be more I, comfy. I feel like people are not as comfortable in the summer. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's what I think. I agree with you, Samantha. <laughs> okay, so here's my favorite part of the show. Lisa, it's things you want to know. All right, Lisa. I got Five things about the human body. Okay. I felt you needed to know about this. Okay. I can't wait. Going into summer. Okay. Okay. Humans are the only animals with chins. Mm. I like how (laughs) chins is plural. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) The foot is one of the most ticklish parts of the body. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Perhaps can, even your ugly feet. Well, ugly feet can be ugly feet can be uh, ticklish too, you know. <laughs> okay. The human nose can detect about one trillion smells. Mine can't. Mine has. I have no smell. No, you don't. I have no. I smell nothing. <laughs> Except for like things like marker and epoxy and gasoline. <laughs> Those and, are my three and smells. Barnyard. And barnyard. And barnyard. Right? Barnyard. Yeah. Yeah. A barnyard. Which is, that's not a pleasant smell. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, okay. Belly buttons grow special hairs to catch lint. I hate a belly button. I think they're gross. <laughs> I get that they serve a purpose, but I think they're nasty. <laughs> Do you ever pick the lint out of your belly button? I don't. You know what? I really just I like keep it clean and I don't pay much attention to it. Thank you. I feel awkward <laughs> with this conversation. <laughs> I don't think it gathers a lot of lint. <laughs> right? I don't, I don't I don't think. You might. You never know. You should check it out. I'll have to check it out. Okay. Last one. Your tongue is made up of eight interwoven muscles similar similar in structure to an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacle. And that just got creepy too. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> I just like to think of it just as just a tongue. That just means it's really strong. Okay. All right. <laughs> no? I don't I don't think it can pull things. No. All right. Well, thanks. these are things now that you know. But now I know, and I didn't know those things, so thank you very much, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Lisa, do you have an I shake my head? I do. This week I've just been, and we touched on it already, so it's a bit of a repeat. I'm shaking my head at the weather. Ugh. I don't know what Mother Nature's thinking. We've had one, snow on the May long weekend before. One day it's cold, one day it's hot. One day it's cold, one day it's hot, right? Got allergies, no allergies. I mean, how do you keep on t- how do you keep on top of all of this? 
I don't know. It's really hard. Right? Wear a long pant. Don't wear a sock. Wear a t- oh, can we need to wear a short sleeve. Oh, nope. Don't need a short sleeve. Need a sweater. I shake my head at the weather. You know, I like consistency. Okay. This is true. Right? What about you? You haven't I shake my head? I miss my Alexa. Oh. Yeah. Huh. She was nice. Why didn't she you bring was incredibly it to your mom? helpful. Why didn't you bring it to your mom's? Well, because it would be weird. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the reason why... Why have an why Alexa at the- your mom's when you have a Sheila? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel I feel silly because I watched a stupid commercial where an Alexa helps uh, a, a guy help his kid with stuff about Pompeii or whatever. Right. And I'm like, oh, I miss my Alexa. Wow. And Look I'm like, you. how do I miss electronic? I don't know. I'd miss my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but that's I don't true. understand. I don't understand the Alexa thing. Well, because it was like every morning I was like, I'd get up and I'm like, Alexa, what time is it? And she'd tell me, Alexa, what's the weather like today? She would tell me, you know. Yeah. Interesting. We had great convers. We had really great conversations, Alexa and I. Did you? Well, <laughs> I guess I can understand why you're missing her then. Yeah, I miss her. Right. Well, hopefully you'll get her back soon. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. Samantha. That's all I got. All right. All right. This is the end of the podcast. So this is where we say thanks, John. Thanks, John. For putting our stuff together for us. Um, A reminder to check out our social media, our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Twitter. And remember to subscribe and download to I Shake My Head. Awesome, Samantha. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like we should be ending it. Yes. Right? (laughs) You know how it it's is, time right? To end it. Oh, it's sometimes, time to end. Sometimes I just hate to say goodbye. Well, sometimes right? you have it's to. like you say goodbye first. No, you say goodbye first. You say goodbye first. Oh my god! And this is where we can't end shit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> just one more thing, just to pick John's ass. <laughs> You're welcome, Mister Jamingo. Uh-huh. All right, Samantha. Anything else? Nope, that's it for me. All right. Always a pleasure. That should be. Mm. This has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com.